Hi guys, uh, today we're going to move from exercise 5 to exercise 6. So as before, just go to your view map, double click and you'll see exercise 6. Uh, there's a few uh, little commands uh, which we're going to try and practice and a few of them you need to kind of watch out for so I'll try and do these especially slowly and hopefully you won't find them too difficult. So in this one, it says drag a copy three meters to the right. First thing to do is to shift click the object. And if we want to copy it, go up to the pull down menu. If you go to move, you can see it says drag a copy. And beside that, you can see there's control shift D. So if you're a person who likes keyboard shortcuts, you can choose to use the keyboard shortcut. Now, what we do then is uh, we if you look down at the bottom left, it says enter drag reference point. So this is a point at which we're going to drag it three meters to the right. So I'm just going to click it here. And then I'm going to let go of my mouse completely. And I'm going to go X. And my numerical lock keypad is working. So I'm going to go 3000 and go plus. And there is a copy three meters to the right. If you say, well, how do you check it's three meters? A little measuring tool up here or you hit M and we'll just uh, zoom in and measure from this reference point to here and you can see it's three meters so that's one's quite simple the second one is similar so what we're going to do is shift click go up to edit go to move and there's a thing here it says rotate a copy so we just click rotate a copy center of rotation so we want to rotate it around this point so you get a little kind of protractor now we can click on the point but we also have to give it a kind of starting uh, vector they call it or arc start point so i'm just going to go to the end of this line and then the angle is 90 degrees so i'm going to click a for angle then 90 and i'm going to hit minus because i want it to go into my page or down the waist and there's your copy rotated at 90 degrees. Now this next one is a tricky little operation. So it might help to have a look at it in three dimensions as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just uh, select this roof. And select this one. And if you hit F5, it gives you a three dimensional view of just the elements that you've selected. So if I click here, and I can't really see them, so I'm going to go zoom all. And this little icon down here. Uh, let's me zoom into the items and you can see that we've got two roofs, but they don't meet So what I'm going to try and do is project this one project that one so that they have a nice tidy connection To quickly go back to the exercise I can click this tab or I can hit F2 Which is 2 for 2d Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the one on the left and then the one on the right And then I'm going to because I'm on a Windows machine control click and that roof projects. Now the one I want to project, I found that you're better off clicking it first. So, shift click, shift click, and then control click. And because those two roofs are selected, what we'll do is then just try our F5. And now you can see that Archie Cat has projected the roofs, but it's also trimmed off the bits that we don't need. So just be careful of that one and uh, hopefully you'll get it to work. So it's all about selecting the roof first. Uh, so I'll undo one, just do that again. So because this one is the one I want to project, I'm gonna select it first, click that one second, and then control click, and there you go. A um, Couple of tricks to watch out for in this one. So this little video is slightly longer because there's a few tricks. Uh, so we wanna subtract a rectangle from this entity or this object. So I don't quite know what it is, but I'll just select it, and it's a slab. So if I hit F5, and I can't see it, so I'll just go zoom everything, and there's my slab. I hold down the scroll wheel and shift button, you can rotate and have a look at it from different directions. Now the important thing here is if you're going to cut holes out of a slab, in this case a rectangle, we want to make sure you're in the slab too, and that you've actually got it selected. If you don't have it selected, I'll show you what happens. But first thing, in the slab tool, select it, 
we've just been asked to draw a rectangle so I'm just going to go up here and pick a rectangle then click and you can see we've kind of cut a hole out of my object now if you didn't have that slab selected and just went in and drew a rectangle you'd actually draw a completely new slab so I'm going to select that one and this new one and show you what the problem would be so if you forget to select the slab that you're cutting the hole out of all you'll do is add a new slab so just be careful of that okay uh, this multiply one another command to watch out for I'm just going to shift click um, edit I think it might be uh, move again multiply and control U and you'll get a dialog box with a whole lot of different options so just make sure you don't have this one chosen and uh, there's a number of different ways we can do this increment and spread you kind of space things by dragging them to a certain distance you know and then clicking and it'll copy the object but we want six copies so if I go control U say spread uh, increment it says copy six so again you might know an exact measurement because when I move this you'll see it's going to move them out so you, you should be able to type a distance in uh, we don't really know one at the minute but that's one way of doing the six copies I'll undo that control U and the last one I think uh, sorry this third one spread or increment copies uh, works similarly to the, one of these previous operations click again and you see that we kind of get so if you know between this guideline for instance if that was a known measurement I need to have six copies there's your one two three four five six copies now this little one space click with a fill it's just a clever way of filling up some areas uh, that we've already drawn with a fill using a space bar so I'm just going to make sure I'm in the fill tool and then I'm going to press the um, space bar and you get like a little magic wand and because it's identified that circle the whole thing has come in so I'll undo that again I'm still in the fill tool I'm going to try and get this little area and you kind of see the areas getting highlighted in blue and then you can put whatever fill patterns you want in there so basically that is how you do exercise six it's a little bit trickier than some of the other ones but uh, hopefully this video will help you complete it so best of luck thank you